Today I'm going to tell you the development of Notochord through some models. So basically Notochord is a midline structure that develops at the cranial end of the primitive streak and extends up to the caudal end of procaudal plate. This is the embryonic disc. The cranial end having procaudal plate and the caudal end has got primitive streak. So gastrulation is a process that is the formation of three germ layers and it begins with the formation of primitive streak at the caudal end of embryonic disc. Now, here you can see some of the arrows which are showing the migration of cells towards the cranial end. So primitive streak develops cells and these cells they migrate towards the cranial end to give the pear shaped appearance to the embryonic disc. As you can see here, this is a pear shaped embryonic disc. Cranial end is bulged and caudal end is narrow. Right. At this cranial end of the primitive streak, there appears a bulging that is known as primitive node or the primitive knot or the Henson's node. As you can see here in this model also, this is a primitive streak with the primitive node or the knot or the Henson's node. Now in this primitive node, there appears a pit that is known as blastopore or the primitive pit. From this cranial end of the pro uh, primitive streak, a midline structure passes between the epiblast and the hypoblast cells which are later converted to the ectoderm and endoderm respectively. That is, this layer of cells is passing between the ectoderm and endoderm and forms the notochordal process. Now, this notochordal process initially is a solid structure. When the pit is formed in this primitive node that is known as blastopore, this cavity passes inside this notochordal process to convert it into a notochordal canal. You can see here, primitive streak, some of the cells are passing and coming to lie in between the ectoderm and the endoderm and this becomes the notochordal process. Initially it is a solid structure, then it becomes canalized by the blastopore that is extension of the cavity of the blastopore into the notochordal process to convert it into a notochordal canal. Now the cells of the floor of this notochordal canal merge with the endodermal cells and when the two structures come together, this floor dissolves. Dissolution of this floor leads to a temporary communication between the amniotic cavity and the yolk sac and this temporary communication has been termed as neurentric canal. As you can see here, there is a amniotic cavity, this one is yolk sac and the floor has dissolved leading to the formation of communication between amniotic cavity and yolk sac. Now some cells in this um, notochordal, process, notochordal canal in the floor, they rearrange themselves and what happens is a thickening is formed in this layer that is known as neural notochordal plate. say this one. Now this notochordal plate is formed, changes occur continuously in this and the reversal of the phenomena takes place. That is initially a plate is formed and then it undergoes reversal to form a solid notochord. That you can see, this one is the notochord. Here the dark black structure is the notochord and this forms the central axis of the body in lower animals whereas uh, when uh, human beings are considered this becomes the nucleus pulposus of the intervertebral disc which is surrounded by annulus fibrosus and degenerative changes in the annulus fibrosus lead to the prolapse of this intervertebral disc that is nucleus pulposus protrudes out. So that is how the notochord is formed. Thank you.